This tutorial is going to try to very quickly show you how to use master slides to customize the graphics of your PowerPoint. Uh, so when you're using a PowerPoint, you might want to just have a kind of standard design here. Um, you know, one of the ones that's in the template. And, and there's a whole bunch of, of different ones that you can choose. And of course, you can download others. Um, you can also customize these a little bit um, by going into your, uh, your options here. And you can even choose color schemes to give you some idea. You know, so there's a whole bunch of different options that you can use. Um, uh, your, your fonts, your effects, you know, everything can, uh, can be customized here. Um, I would say that even if you do this, you know, so let's say we want to go through and, and mess around a little bit, um, you really need to know how to, um, how to mess with this on an individual level. Uh, and to have that not be just in one specific slide, but in, in every slide. And to do this, you use what's called the master view. So you go into view, and this is the same for a Mac or a PC, even though I'm on a PC right now. It's in view, and then you want to go to slide master. When you're in slide master, you can see that right now um, you've got access to your titles, your fonts, etc. Um, so let's say I want to change this to be a little bit of a smaller font. You can do that. Um, you know, reduce it down a little bit, and every time you create this uh, type of title slide, it will look like however you edit it. And it's the same for all of the others. So um, here you've got your um, your uh, regular um, mass, uh, regular um, style of of, uh, of note uh, of slide. Here you've got a different style. Here you've got a different style. Here you've got a different style. And so you should um, you know change each one individually to to make sure that it, it looks the way you want it to look. Um, this is the master in general. In other words, anything you change in this big one will apply to all of these little ones. And that's where you would do something like a background. So I could do something simple like add something. So let's say I want to um, insert something here, right? So I can insert uh, a logo. I can put in my logo here. Um, so I'll go to um, a little transparent logo. And I can add this in and resize it down. And you can see that when I've done this, um, it actually appears in, uh, in every single piece, right? So every single one of these uh, will also have the logo. Um, now you can see that that doesn't look all that great because it's not, um, uh, it's not transparent. Um, and you can't actually do that in. Um, uh, in the PC version of PowerPoint, you can only do it in the Mac version of PowerPoint. Um, so I'm actually going to delete this out. And instead, I'm going to insert a shape. Um, and I'm going to insert a rectangle right there about where I want the logo to be. And I can always resize this if I want. Um, and that's not actually what I want. But again, you can see that it appears in all of these other little pieces. Um, and then I'm going to go to a picture fill um, and I'll go to a file and do the same one. So there I've got my file and I can, I can stretch this out make it look exactly the way I want it to look. Um, that's about the way I want it to look. Um, and here you can change the transparency because that's a fill. So what I would probably want it to look like is something like that. right? Uh, so it looks a, a little bit better, a little stronger there. Um, but really, you can see that there's some other issues here, right? So we've got um, in our shape, um, we've got uh, um, uh, issues like colors, etc. So we've got our fill here, um, and we also want to um, uh, change the, the line, change the stroke. So no line here, so that it just looks like the logo. So you can't really see anything at all. Um, so that's fine. But what we also want to do is be able to mess with these a little bit or, or, or change them around. So um, here, uh, you can see if I click on this once, I can move each individual shape around or even delete them out. So maybe that's just too dark a color. I could change the color on it um, and change it to, I don't know, a blue or something, right? Um, again, I can change my transparency and, and make that look different. Um, or maybe it's just too dark and I want to delete it out. Maybe I want to remove a few of these and just have a couple um, rather than make this look so strong, maybe I just want a really subtle piece here. Um, and I could even, you know, I look at this is, this looks pretty good, but let's say let's up the transparency a little bit to match the other side. And then you can see that this is actually changed all the way through. The only one that isn't changed um, is, uh, and for some reason I don't know why, because it should, um, is that this one. But you can always go through 
and uh, and highlight and uh, copy and paste all of those into your master um, that master slide. So you can go through and highlight these individual shapes. And um, if it selects on the wrong one, like this, selected this big piece here, right, all at once. Just double click and you get inside and you can do your individual shapes. But that's actually really useful because right now what I want is this big one. So I can Command C or Apple C and then I can go through into my second one, delete it, and then paste that in the, the one that I wanted, right? And you can do the same with the logo here. Command C, click on the other slide, Command V, and it goes, notice that it goes to the right same, the exact same place. Um, so this is a really, really useful way to do this. Um, and then you can always save this um, as a, a template that you can use for another piece. So I'm gonna close the master view and you can see every time I make a new slide here, right? So new slide, I don't know, let's go to a title and content, the, the normal slide that you would probably use. And notice the logos here and notice the background is here. Um, and that really changes things. And again, you can change the types of bullets, you can change your font, all of these things uh, to make this look exactly like you want it to look.